Y'all having fun? Hey, tequila! Idiot Doom Spiral. A 30-something man clad in a two-piece Licra TM tracksuit puts down his pills and extends his hand in greeting. Good to see you. How's business? How's the whole reality situation treating you? So what's Pretty happening? good. Tequila? Yeah. Tequila Sunset. How are the, um, high-concept, reality-based adventures proceeding? He says it like it's obviously your name. Like you call someone Billy Brunel or leader of the 4th Street Gang. I have re-entered reality to conquer it, to bend it to my will. I am the law. That's the spirit. I used to shape reality into my image long time ago. Those days are over now. Sadly, things aren't going that well in Idiot Doom Spiral Land. Haven't found those keys I wonder yet. if we, Haven't like, won that great piece of ass back. Party no with these guys when we crash the car. Buddies. Maybe. Totally possible. Idiot Doom Spiral, huh? This is bound to be a good, high-concept conversation. At last. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't think we're gonna get any of review from these guys, but there's no reason not to ask. Can't right? really remember seeing any women after losing my keys. It's a touchy Fair. topic. He hasn't got laid in ages. He really oh. has no idea who this ruby is, sire. We are saving the world. You seem like you're doing a great job of that, my man. Please! Please don't go! Don't go! Okay, we're drinking. We're drinking alcohol. That's what we're doing. I tried to save the world once, a long time ago, with enterprise, creativity, and willpower. But that didn't work out. So now, it's a pirate's life for me. What's it about? Uh, I'll let my hand address the situation. Maybe you've heard. I used to be a very successful businessman. I've signed more than a few lease forms, or whatever the fuck they were. Anyone's got a pen? The pro's gonna so do it. So this guy, I mean, it's weird. I don't remember if Edward told us he needed two specific people to sign it. Because I feel like this guy doesn't actually live here. But hey, you know what? Whatever. Yeah. All right. I'll take the signature. He grabs the pen and paper from your hands, and very carefully scribbles on the dotted line next to Lillian Carter. Idiot doom spiral. <laughs> All right, I'm sure that's going to be what everyone wanted. Hey yeah, guys, that's perfect. We got signatures. I'm We're a set. hero. Hell yes! The incapacitated drunk lay there snoring like an ancient rusting tractor. Task completed. Thank you for your help. Should we go and mail this? I think I saw a mailbox on the platter. Uh, I want to ask. Okay, what's on first. your mind? What is a tequila sunset? It's you. Your tequila sunset. I wonder if you're right. We've met before. Yep. Don't you remember? There you go. No. You Hell sure yeah. Uh-huh. I'm one for 50. Do you want to know how Tequila Sunset came to be? Oh yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Let me take a sip to moisten up my cords. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday. And by Tequila Sunset, I mean you. The man, the myth. We met on Friday? Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. Stop interrupting. You got here on Friday to solve a case, hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz. Because as far as I know, all you did was get piss drunk. Word on the street is Sounds you like went you around know, the yeah. local hostel telling people that you're a police officer. And it would be really fucked up if you shot yourself in the head right in front of them. That's yep. pretty high. Wow. That, that, that sounds, sounds like, like us. It, that sounds like Harry, all right. I, I, I can't imagine he would actually go through with it, though. That would be so ridiculous if he actually shot himself. It yeah, that'd be so like weird. It Especially is. in the middle of a cafeteria. I can't believe that he would the morale. <laughs> Literally, this guy said, yeah, you went around telling me you were going to shoot yourself and how cool it would be. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, uh, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. We feel better that's about it totally now. totally your style. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He's listening as casually as he can. 
Please continue. It was a late Saturday night when we, the Union of Moribund Alcoholics, were getting our drink on. Nothing remarkable about this, we get our drink on 24-7. Makes everything warm and glowy. I trust you know the feeling. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up Oh my up god, you were completely 100% right, Mike. Followed by a series of dings and bangs. I Naturally, feel Naturally, loud noises good. pique the interest of anybody <laughs> owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. Mm -hmm, anyway, mm -hmm. there was a brief silence. A gasp of silence, if you will. Followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. Sounded like someone jumped the canal. We grabbed our brewskis and rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed Hell yeah. of alcoholic. Three men are standing on a wooden platform extending out from the shore of a dilapidated fishing village. Their cheeks red, spirits high, bears in hand, eyes glazed over. What we saw was a sight to behold. A beat-up police carriage containing you. Right there on the beach, <laughs> you revved the engine and screamed at the top of your lungs. The time hath come! <laughs> Sick. So, naturally, being the curious cat I am, I asked what time hath come. To which you replied, Tequila sunrise. The time hath sunset, come excuse me. Tequila sunset. The end I love of it. all things. <laughs> this all sounds so on brand for us right now. <laughs> Every word I said was true. Tequila sunset will break the looms of reality. Yeah, looms. Why not? Then you jam <laughs> the pedal and plowed right off the jetty and through the ice. Your hands crimp on the steering wheel. We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out, miraculously unhurt, covered in seaweed and shit, like some kind of sea monster. When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. You said that your badge and uniform were in the car. It was too late to get in there, though. The carriage had sunk too deep. In this way, you and your motor carriage have a lot in common. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us, which you naturally agreed to. I love that the like signs of people partying around the carriage. Not only were people partying there, but Harry was one of the the aforementioned yeah. partiers. What else was there? There was us. <laughs> Thank you, Sick. Brother, for your help. In I mean, at that point, we had already destroyed the car. Yeah, why not, right? We asked mm -hmm. about the whole tequila sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now, and insisted that we all call you that from then on. Tequila sunset, huh? Sounds pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Ours. It was an all-night drinkathon. Then, at some point, I think it was Sunday morning, you got belligerent and wanted to talk about Revacholian women. How they're beautiful oh, no, and also whores and so on. How Good. one of them fucked you real bad. After a short while, you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, got up, and left without saying anything. Wow, that's quite a story. Yeah, I bet Tequila's a fucking legend around the precinct. You must be proud to work with him. <laughs> if you only knew. Um... So yeah, did I tell you anything specific about the person that fucked me? That's actually, like, I want to know that, because that, I think, is probably Ruby, at least as far as how, if I was writing a story, would it connect yeah. the characters? <laughs> Agreed. Could not agree more. <laughs> you were pretty vague about it, but you kept saying you got fucked real hard, and that we've all been fucked, too. No one's fucked me. I do the fucking around here. Abigail. It seemed pretty painful, to be honest with you. <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say <laughs> Abigail you're still the back. working through some shit. Beside your gun and your badge, you said something about your hope or heart or something. To be honest, the details are a little hazy. In retrospect, I guess you lost your motor carriage too? That's a big one. Mm -hmm. You told us that they were a bunch of fucking losers whose main interest was cramping your style. No specifics, though. It was more about you that night. You were the star of the show. 
Yeah, you said it was no biggie and that you'd solve it in no time. <laughs> and that you didn't need anyone to do it. You're doing it solo now. I I love the Ooh. idea of saying the case is no biggie. Because I feel like the, how, what, like the word choice in this game is usually much more... Verbose? Verbose, yeah, thank you. I was trying to think of a word... <laughs> That was to explain what yeah. I was trying to think of. And like, totally. Yeah, it's no biggie. Ah, whatever. It's just some yeah. games. What, a lot of cops go solo and hermit. It even sounds like he was still like priorities. using eloquent language when he was describing Tequila Sunset. So I really, to your point, like the idea of him waxing poetic and then, then being like, what about the case? And you'd be like, oh, no biggie. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Who cares? It's whatever. Don't worry about He's it. He's hanging from a tree. He was probably yeah. dead when he got there. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, you kept talking about how the coal mine owners were fucking us all over, just like that woman fucked you. I didn't agree with you, by the way. The spectral hand of the market makes sure everyone gets exactly what they deserve. You kept calling yourself a goddamn superstar who'd cleared 501 cases. 501? As you've already determined, the actual number is 216. But what's a little embellishment between friends? Well, I am a goddamn no superstar. No thanks to the squares at the precinct, as you put it. All right, well, thanks, man. It's a hard thing for a man to confront his past. That's why I avoid mine at all costs. whoop de doo So now I'm a fucking storyteller. Right. Why not? Better than a beach bum. Yeah. How did you become Idiot okay. Doom Spiral? It depends, really. Are you willing to help Side quest. me now? The gleam in his yeah. eyes and the slout in his posture. Although I don't so like that we have to help him familiar. solve the problem. Just to find out why he calls himself that. You might get scammed here. <laughs> no, the reality of the situation requires a rather modest contribution. A well, right now I have almost seven dollars. So I'm sure we can afford anything. Cute morale. Alright, what do you need? Booze! Did you already forget our party? The thing I relayed to you earlier. So, have you got anything for good old idiot Doom Spiral? A bottle <laughs> for a story. Seems fair to me. I don't want to give you any of my alcohol. I might have more use for it. I like that. No, Not you much, I don't care. but it will do. I spy We're not drinking enough fucking share, Pilsner. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Murloc ass over here, dude. Shut up, guys. I'm telling a story here. Something happened to you. Something happened to me, too. My actual name is George. But around here, you already know. I was once a reasonably high net worth individual. A founder slash Light junior bent partner around me. at a high concept creative services agency. When my story begins, I had just landed a major contract with an insurance. Wow, we're getting store. a real, we're actually getting a fucking story. I hey, used the profits from my agency to finance what I called a cultural incubator. Abstract value generation, value per person, high concept stuff. I developed the paradigm, worked within the paradigm, but the burden of leadership weighed heavily on me. So I went jogging every so often to keep myself sane. It mm -hmm, did. Mm -hmm. With my trusty Sansarik tracksuit, I felt like I could conquer the world. But now dreams are worn thin, much like my tracksuit. One day I left on my evening run, as you may know, it's impossible to clear your head when you're distracted by the sound of keys jangling in your pockets. He's right. Of course, of course. It's incredibly annoying. His <laughs> eyes are your oh eyes. Oh my god, the morale healing, man. It's out of control. So I removed the key ring and put the keys for the front gate and the apartment into different pockets to stop the jangling, you see? At least, that was the plan. I was halfway done with my usual lap when it started to rain. The reality situation became very wet, very quickly. Okay. I made my way back home and discovered that I didn't have the key to the front gate. I'd mixed it up with the key to the letterbox, which was useless. 
Oh, Naturally, no. the situation required me to climb That's over where the, the idiot gate, in Doom Spiral did. comes from. There was no climbing down because I slipped and landed on my ass. I would have landed on my feet. But I'm just built different, dude. Like, it's no big deal. No, mm -hmm. you don't. Oh, fuck. Hey. Whatever. The point is, reality was looking rather grim just then. Me lying on my ass in a mud pit in the middle of a heavy shower. But when life knocked me down, I always got up. Yeah, obviously. So I made my way across the yard. Standing in front of my apartment door, fumbling with my pockets, I realized that I'd also forgotten my apartment key. Uh huh. I rang my neighbor's buzzers. It was late, and most of them didn't even answer. Those who did assumed I was trying to sell them something and hung up before I could even explain the situation. People are naturally wary of ad men, you see. One moment someone mm -hmm. chats you up. As an ad man myself, later, you've bought a box of I can edible confirm. lingerie and a strap on. I don't begrudge them, especially since I was known to be. Just then, I experienced a moment of clarity. I still had the key to my office. I could wait out the storm there. But when I reached my office, I remembered that I'd asked one of my producers to change the locks that day. And since I hired only the best, he'd already done it. And I couldn't get in. So I had a real bad anyway, day, man. Long story short, life Why did he ask to change the locks? Control. I haven't gotten into my apartment for years, and my girlfriend <laughs> left me because she didn't want to date a homeless man. The company, well, you see where I'm going with this. I hate to say it, my dude, but he probably could have just, like, got a locksmith or, like, yeah. kicked down the door. So. There now are so many other test. options. What do you think? Like nothing you've ever heard, huh? Um, yeah, I feel like there are some steps missing. Tequila, I've thought about this series of events for a long time. If there was anything else to it, I would have thought of it by now. Why that makes sense. I mean, if he, if anybody's going to be an expert, it's it's got to be him, right? So Well, we'll at see. one point they came to me, but, you know, I, I didn't have any ID on me. So they tossed me in jail for two days. <laughs> I can't say it increased my faith in the RCM. No offense, gentlemen. I literally hey, can't believe it. Me neither, it. Tequila. Fair, dude. When I lost my keys, I lost more than access to my apartment. I also lost my leverage over humanity. I wasn't a high-concept creative director anymore. I was just some homeless asshole with a premium Sansarik Lycra tracksuit. You can't imagine what that does to a man's confidence. Anyway, that was all the story one bottle gets you. Almost empty, this one. Good I fucking so. question, Tequila. If I knew the answer, you think I'd be hanging out on a beach in this formerly premium but now extremely dirty two-piece Lycra tracksuit? I used to own my reality good point. situation. My business buddies and I had our own creative services agency. I had a nice apartment, an even nicer piece of ass. But somehow it all got away from me. Now I can't hang on to anything. Just last week I stole this nice new jacket. But then I lost it too. The only things I haven't lost are these two drunks. My agency. <clears throat> Man, the boom the boom, boom, boom room. room. Our I concept was combining high art with the lowest forms of marketing: the color red, breasts, and oil painting. I convinced my partners to reinvest some of our profits in an even more high-concept cultural incubator called Thin Air. The artists were happy. The clients were happy. I was financing a group of poets in East Rebishal who were developing a new universal poetic language. But then it all went to shit. Sounds intriguing. What say you, Art Cop? If it sounds like it makes no sense, that's because it doesn't. Um, Thank you, Logic. I, I wanna, we actually I wanna, got there on our own. I want to help out. I like the. I want to Art Cop it. Um, okay, Art Cop it. Um, mixing high and low, modifying culture—that is extremely my shit. 
I don't know if that's an art cop answer, though. But that's the only one that seems that it doesn't shit on it, so whatever. I know. Yeah, it can't be two. It was fucking awesome. Too bad I went on a jog, unleashing a cascade of doom that washed it all mm -hmm. away. This really is an important lesson in making sure you don't misplace what? your keys. You've never seen 100% Lycra before? Yeah. Go on, feel that primo material. You really shouldn't touch it. I'm gonna touch Pretty it. Pretty nice, huh? This might be one of the last of its kind. Should probably be in a museum, honestly. Why did Half-Life think Good you shouldn't God. touch it? It's nearly impossible oh. to describe how dirty this texture is. It's like rubbing two jellyfish skins together. <laughs> you feel about 15% less. Oh, it's, the, it's not that what, bad. Hey. What would have happened if we had succeeded in touching it? Like, would it have been like, oh yeah, it actually feels like two really cool jellyfish skins. Like, what? Yeah, it just would have been jellyfish with a different tone of voice. Randomized trials have also found Lycra, TM, to be associated with a number of exotic, highly malignant cancers. So you also have that to look forward to. Oh, come on, I just touched it a little bit. And Let's not get carried away. Smell. But you don't even want to think about that. Wow, you're lucky. He never lets me feel it. That's because your paws are fucking filthy, Rosie. We're right next to the bay. You could wash them anytime. My fellow members of the Union of Moribund Alcoholics, they're exactly what they look like. Hey, tequila! You wanna buy some speed? Shut the fuck up, Rosemary. Whoa! You're a cop, remember? We can get drugs? A, cool a gurgling sound comes from the direction of the non-responsive man. And yeah, you're already acquainted with abs. So yeah, that's basically us. We drink together. It's a pretty cool. Tequila, it's a verifiable tragedy. It was practically brand new. Sure, it didn't really go with my Lycra threads, but it did itch a lot less. Say, you're a detective, right? Maybe you can help old Doom spiral out. Solve the case of the missing jacket. What do you say, Tequila? Yeah, I do like he's asking us to find a jacket that he stole. But yeah, sure. If I knew I'm about. where I lost it, don't you think I'd have it? I mean, maybe I was up by the boardwalk, or walking along the beach, or checking out the abandoned fish market. Somewhere north of here, that's for sure. You could ask around, see if anyone's seen it. Hey, well, good news. I was already planning to head north. I'm all ears, Tequila. I'll take the case, my man. What? I oh, oh. Shut up. So I, I was once the... a reason. So yeah. you don't. I, I hate that it highlights things red. Yeah, but... again. Okay. I do. Yeah, whenever you, when it's like a new see, dialogue option, but it just well. is a container for if ones we've already seen. Drink. Yeah. Um. All right. Cotton on mouth me. is keeping my tongue in prison. You too, All right. tequila. Who's... All right. One more guy. One more crunk, actually. Night. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if I can even walk down here. And then I have a thought. Now I got my thought. A drop in temperature, an easy flow. Oh! There, an empty street before you. Shivers is a shiver. thoroughfare unjammed with lorries. No more drivers smoking on hitch steps. Just silence. Chemically sweetened. Across the road, a forgotten bus stop. Corrosion has opened a hole in its roof. An elm tree watches over the building. Its branches are dripping with rain and snow. The road is smooth and motley. Craters filled with a black asphalt. The asphalt first laid is gray already. A row of tenements are under construction in the distance. A okay. tub warm with water, white with soap. A man bathes while radio waves transmit the lottery numbers. 4, 18, number 312D. Young girls used to come here, huddled up, hoping for more warmth than their thin coats give them. The bus took them to school. Craters pocked the surface. Children played in them, until heavy trucks full of black pitch rolled in. The landowners have filled the craters with money. The wind okay. moves the aerosol. A okay. Just a bad area. Maybe go down. Oh, there's a... 
Sorry, yeah, obviously I couldn't go this way. There's a little tiny bar down in the middle of the road. Excuse mm -hmm. me. You wouldn't step over it or under it or anything. That doesn't make any sense. What? Oh, the you envelope. Take the legal documents okay. at the youth center. No, not the envelope. Okay. The interactive menu keeps saying it has something new, but nothing new in there, which is really very annoying. But did level up, so let me see. Um. Sorry, I'm just looking at two seconds forever. Put the mailbox in plaza. Find the cool jacket. I think, do we want to learn a new thought or just start pumping some points in stats? Is my question. Any of these that are worth re rolling? Suggestion, physical instrument, empathy, interfacing, composure, volition. All these physical instrument ones were like. Uh, trash can internet matter, ice cream maker needed the tool, barbell, who cares? I don't know. What about these guys? My checks get plus point, yeah. You know, I'm just gonna dump a point and not think about it right now. For now. Um, yeah. Thinking about doing one of these lower ones. Up here. Maybe pain threshold. Maybe maybe active physical instrument just because it's only four. I'm thinking of like raising these all to like five, maybe, or something. Yeah, that makes sense. Why is endurance so low? It's Are we gonna hurt. Get a penalty for it? It's good. No, it's not. Oh, health. it's skilled with hell. Hurt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like physical instrument then. Whatever. All right. Only oops. Only one level up. To go. Yeah. Okay. I guess we. Have, I, I don't even remember where that barbell was, but I guess if we go back over there. We can try and re-roll that. Uh. Yeah, maybe it's, something cool it's will happen. In like, there was a boxing gym that was apparently for like underprivileged. Yeah, or yeah, like that, yeah. I think. Um. Okay. I'm talking to this guy. I think we were just. I honestly think at the time we were just trying to show Kim that we're very strong. Good to see well, you, friend. Now maybe we Why can succeed at showing Kim we're strong. You, buddy boy. Uh, what are you talking about? So what man? do you want? I got smokes. They're cheap, very cheap. I got pills now. Great deal. You won't get a better deal on that piss. Spirits I can let go for three hundred real. I also have speed. And so by this guy speed, just deals I mean booze and also drugs. Why does the bottle series cost three hundred dollars? See, friend, it's real valuable, worth every real. If you catch my drift, got it from a bit of a business venture. Yeah, no one's gonna buy you that. You know man. what's crazy, actually? <laughs> what? Keep him talking. Yeah. What do you mean? What? What do you think was crazier here? This guy. This guy. Where did oh, you get the bottle from? This is medicinal spirits. The good stuff. Got it from the doctor's oh. office. I got one of those scientific ampoules a few months ago. Torpedo, they call it. It's supposed to keep a man from taking a drink. Didn't stop me for shit, that's for sure. Five lemons with half a pack of butter and you're good to go. Five lemons with half a pack of butter? It really what? is. In a week, what is this the guy saying? started giving me all kinds of help. Finally, the missus took me to a private doctor's office. Not a charity, the real thing. Those arseholes. Those arseholes charged me four real to remove the damn thing. But I came out on top after all. Assholes. But the idiots left me alone in there. Now, I used to teach high school biology. I know what doctors use to preserve dead fingers. Fight three cans of this blue medicinal stuff from the back room. Threw the snakes That's... out and voila. What's is left that formaldehyde? That sounds stuff. right for some reason. 98.7%. Yeah. Almost pure okay. alcohol. Two I already sold to these fine gentlemen here. But this last one is yours for three real if you want it. Can I yeah. smell it first? Be careful. It's extremely flammable. One spark in the entire city of Revachon is wiped off the map. Feels like someone oh, set a mustard field it down. a blaze right inside. Also, the price went from three hundred to three real, which is something. Your nose is a singular Wait, source oh, yeah. of pain, but You're at right. the same time, you don't remember the last time you felt so alive. 
There was even an Perfect. option that was like, wait, that I thought it was 300 real. So maybe we can great maybe we can get this booze. So, what's the deal, friend? Want the spirits or not? I mean, you have a free place to stay. Why not, right? And it's yours, friend. The deal with a lifetime. Yeah, I'm also, my mind right is thinking there. in circles. Makes sense now. Like, I wonder if you hadn't shipped, if we hadn't shipped the body back already, if we could use the formaldehyde to, like, preserve, do something with the body. Yeah, it was maybe. already dead. Maybe, that might have been, like, a boost to, like, identifying the bullet wound or whatever. Yeah, you, you would have had to, like, hold... Corpse. Yeah, and you would have had to find these guys, like, on Wednesday before you got through the body stuff that you needed and stuff like that. Like, there's just so many yeah. different things in this game that I feel like can go oh. such a different way. The yeah, for sure. The system's been good to old Rosemary here, and I'm milking her like a bitch goat in the backyard. You see, friend, man makes his own luck, and oh. I made mine really What a fucking turn of phrase. Got my hand yeah. three bottles of liquor exqueezed, sold two to the fellows around here, and immediately invested the profit. Bought cigarettes, bought beer, even bought a bit of speed. And look at me now. I got everyone on my hook. The hook? Where is it? I can't see it. Impressive entrepreneurship. I approve. Mm. <laughs> hook them and cook them, huh? You want to buy something? Aye, buy amphetamine, I mean speed. I think you didn't hear me when I said I'm a police officer. Sure did, buddy boy. That's why I said amphetamine. I mean speed. I mean amphetamine. I got both. Have you seen that? Uh, <laughs> I need I need to uh, set the stage first before I say what I was gonna say because of that meme okay. lately on Twitter of it's like yeah can I get a latte with uh, some breast milk? I mean breast milk. I mean sorry. I mean breast milk. Sorry. Uh, I meant yes. breast milk. I mean breast milk. <laughs> yep. I meant speed. I mean breast milk. Um, I thought by okay. speed you meant breast milk. Hi. <laughs> what I said. <laughs> Good, good, my man. Now, what can I offer you? Alright, whatever, just buy just it. Make sure to enjoy that one, friend. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, we definitely you want will this. not kill yourself with this. Not today. So, we're going to store this as a sellable item. Go oh. sell it. <laughs> wow, I like, I like that it's like, no, don't drink this, you will die. <laughs> well, you can't it's use it. To tip the shop key, friend. But come back anyway. Hey, man, I bought your thing. That's a tip enough, alright? So eight bucks? Hell yeah, that's tidy five dollar profit right there. Don't mind it. All right, thanks, friends. You know, didn't see any children with power gloves down here though, unfortunately. No, me. Which is really what I'm, which is really what I'm after. What is this? Watch out, nothing grows. Okay. And now I'm gonna be oh, able to in and this, find a child with power yeah, gloves. This is the, this is the wash lady's house, right? I think yeah. so. But also, this is like the, it seemed like the end of the house is in the whole area, too. So, like, if the kid isn't here, I mean, I guess they could be further up north, but it was safe and warm here, not like outside. Well, there's a child right there. That's a child. Hang on, let me look at your fireplace. A power glove. Let me get my one Holding. XP looking in the fireplace real quick. The shield cobalt pellets burn. A power glove. Or, no, maybe that's a doll. Let me steal your taxidermied grouse. Hell yeah. 750? Hell uh, yeah. I hope no one gets mad for just uh, st obviously stealing something from this house, but... Hello, Can I pitch you a long shot idea on what we do with that grouse? Uh-huh. I wonder if we could get something out of Gart, because he's been trying to fix that dead bird for so long. What if we oh, give yeah. him a bird? That's a good idea. She clutches mm -hmm. a small stuffed animal. Occasionally, she twirls it around. Hey, uh, you got any power gloves? Oh, I had gloves. Very big ones. Heavy, too. Where did you get these gloves? Found them when Lemmy and I were playing hide and seek. In an empty house. Where no one lives. I think someone hid them there. Hmm. Weird. She doesn't want you to think she stole them. I hid them. The twins were gonna take them. They're stupid. We're going to need those gloves. It's for important They're police actually business. Four. Yeah. Oh. They're in my sand castle. Behind our house. Under the sand. You can break the castle. Sick, okay. It's not very good. Cool. Alright, let's uh, move on to yeah. Ruby. Luby. Ruh. Ruh Luby. No. Uh, Ruby. 
Not Ruby. My mom tells me I'm a big girl, but she doesn't know that I can't say Earl. Or like, sometimes I can, but then oh. Err. Oh. Err. Kids. Kids. Why? Hey, Kim, real quick. Why did you get as close to your mic as possible when you said the word kids? Just, just yeah, asking, just, just wondering. Like, really get in there. <laughs> Little Lily. Do you know my mom? Yep. That's nice. My mom is great. She's never angry or anything. And she has a sword, which is pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. That's probably why she's never play angry. With me. They're older and play outside. They look the same. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell them apart. They, they look do look identical. Identic <laughs> There's no way they're older, aren't they? I thought. There was dialogue that said they were four. They and were five, this, I believe. This little girl is speaking fucking circles around those yeah, two. Yeah, those two kids are dumb as hell. It's a grouse. You might be able to get on God's good side if you make a fast wow. school you broke. Mike, once again, on top of it today. I am on fucking fire. <laughs> Can I have it? I know somebody really likes stuffed birds. Sure. I mean, you already took it. I don't know. <laughs> it looks... I did You're already take point, it. Lily. Um, it's got? Sammy. He's my friend. So, like... Lambie is a stuffed lamb that, admittedly, has seen better days. One of the eye buttons is missing, and the fur is tattered in several parts. I love Lambie. Lambie's my favorite character in the world. Yes. Very soft. She's like, she pushes the stuffed animal toward your face. Pressure cheeks against Lambie. Isn't he soft? Hell yeah. <laughs> One of the most earned Still morale that... heals yet. Still that eight morale, baby. All right. Well, this, she, I, this girl was very helpful. One of the, the most, most helpful polite person maybe yeah. here. Absolutely. The, the best NBC so far. She's on my team all the way.